welcome to experiment 10th of electrical machine lab in this lab we are going to perform the open circuit and short circuit test on a single phase transformer the objective of the test is to determine the parameters of the equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer and predetermine the performance characteristic by performing the open circuit and short circuit test on a single phase transformer so basically we are going to determine the parameters parameters of what parameters of the equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer and the performance characteristic so these are the two uh, basic objective of this particular test so here we are going to use a single phase transformer whose kva rating is 2 kva high voltage side is 230 volt and low voltage side is 115 so high voltage current is 8.6 ampere so 8.6 ampere is the full load current on the high voltage side and low voltage current is 17.3 ampere and the transformer is of core type transformer now uh, in this uh, we required some apparatus like a variac uh, in the range of 0 to 230 volt 15 ampere we required a voltmeter ammeter and uh, LPF and UPF two type of watt meters we required one is a low power factor watt meter another is a unity power factor watt meter for conducting two different tests one is open circuit another is short circuit test so let us see the circuit connection first for the open circuit condition so we generally keep the high voltage side open and all the measuring instruments are connected on the low voltage side so we can see that the volt meter emitters and the watt meter are basically connected on the low voltage side and high voltage side is keep kept at open circuit it means all the measurement that we are doing is particularly on the low voltage side so basically we are doing the test on a single phase ac supply so it is 230 volt and a 50 hertz supply now for the short circuit test you will be short circuiting the low voltage side so low voltage side you will be short circuiting and all the measuring instruments are connected on the high voltage side you should not never short circuit the high voltage side so all the measuring instruments are connected on the high voltage side whether it is a voltmeter, ammeter or watt meter. So the transformer as you know that the side to which the voltage is applied or the supply is applied that is the primary side and the load where it is applied that is the secondary side. So primary side is represented by one uh, V1 and V2 is the secondary voltage. The flux is established in the core. So N1 and N2 are the number of turns in the primary and secondary winding whereas I1 is the current drawn by the primary winding and I2 is the current drawn by the secondary winding. We know that transformer is a static piece of apparatus so there will not be any type of uh, rotating parts in the transformer so no losses will be there from the rotating end. And the basic uh, equation for the transformer will be E1 by E2 is equal to V1 by V2 equal to N1 N2 whereas E1 and E2 are basically the induced EMF on the primary side and the secondary side respectively. V1 and V2 are basically the voltage on the primary and the secondary side at the terminals. N1 and N2 are the number of turns in the primary and the secondary winding. I1 by I2 is equal to N2 by N1. So these relationships are for the transformer in the ideal case and we can transfer the impedance from one port to the other that is from the high voltage side to the low voltage side or low voltage side to uh, uh, high voltage side by dividing or multiplied with k square so k is basically the turns ratio that is given by n1 by n2 now uh, since in transformer if you go by the theory it works on the principle of electromagnetic induction and it is a static piece of apparatus where the voltage from one circuit to the other circuit can be stepped up or stepped down keeping the frequency constant and power remaining the constant. So transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction having an input source of voltage that varies in amplitude. So here we see the setup that we have. So this is uh, we can have a single phase transformer. Uh, there, uh, Although there is a panel which is having two uh, single phase transformer we will not use the other one we will use only one uh, single phase transformer this side is 115 volt and this side is 230 volt so we can see the transformer is 2 kva 230 volt by 115 volt so 115 volt is the low voltage side and 230 volt is the uh, uh, high voltage side 
So we are having a multi-function meters uh, to measure the current, voltage, power and other data. Okay. So let us uh, see the connections how we are going to do. So first uh, we are going to perform the open circuit test. So we have seen how to perform the open circuit test, which side to be kept open and which side the measurement need to be done in the circuit diagram. So here you connect the low uh, uh, power factor watt meter. So in the open circuit test, we will be using LPF watt meter, whereas in the short circuit test, we are going to use the UPF watt meter and we are going to connect the emitters, volt meter and the watt meter with the base ring side. So single phase variac is used to slowly control the voltage that is 230 volt. Now what is the procedure for OC test? So in the OC test uh, you are going to apply the rated voltage to the low voltage side with the help of a variac by slowly varying the variac whereas the high voltage side is kept open and note down the readings of a meter, volt meter and watt meter. So you have only one single reading so you are going to note down the reading of open circuit voltage and open circuit current. So power is basically whatever the power you are going to take is whatever the reading you are obtained from the watt meter you multiply it with a multiplying factor of the watt meter. Multiplying factor of the watt meter will be given on the uh, nameplate rating. So it is basically VI cos phi divided by full scale deflection. Now the multiplication factor is already given in the nameplate rating. So just multiply it with the reading that you are being obtained in the watt meter. So single reading is obtained for the OC test and OC test is done at the rated voltage. So whatever the rated voltage you have at that particular, so there you will be having the rated voltage and then corresponding to the rated voltage, what is the current you are having and what is the power you are getting. So in the short circuit test, you will be short circuiting the low voltage side and the high voltage side will be kept all the measuring instruments and using the variac, you vary the, uh, the voltage slowly so that the rated current flows in the device. So the rated current, this uh, particular experiment, the short circuit test will be done at the rated current. So here corresponding to the rated current, what is the voltage and what is the power that we have to measure. So whatever the um, uh, power we are getting, you multiply it with the multiplication factor uh, given on the watt meter. So here we are going to use the UPF watt meter that is the unity power factor watt meter. Then after uh, obtaining the test result, now our next part is to obtain the parameters. So parameters we are going to obtain as the R0, X0, R01, R02, X10, X1, X2, X02. So these are the parameters of the equivalent circuit of the transformer that you have to obtain from the OC test and the SC test data. So first we will be using the OC test data to obtain the no load power factor. So no load power factor phi naught, that is a phase angle is cos inverse of no load power whatever we are getting multiplication with the voltage and current. Once we are obtaining the phi naught then we can easily obtain R naught as V naught by I W. So we know that the no load current I naught is basically so I naught that is the no load current is the vector sum of I W and I M. So I W is basically the current which is flowing through the resistance and I M is the current which is flowing through the reactance. So here R0 and X0 we can easily obtain by uh, dividing the voltage with respect to the current IW and IM uh, for obtaining the R0 and X0 value. So this IW and IM we can obtain from the no load current which is the measured multiplying with the power factor cos phi0 and the sine phi0 where phi0 we can obtain from the first equation. Now uh, in the, using the short circuit test data First, we will obtain the resistance on the high voltage side, which is power divided by the square of the current. Power is basically the short circuit power divided by the short circuit current. And Z, that is the impedance, is basically the short circuit voltage by short circuit current. So once we have obtained the value of R and Z, X, that is the reactance, we can obtain by under root of the impedance square minus the resistance square. 
so we can easily get the value of the reactants x and r on the low voltage side so we can transfer the data from the high voltage side to the low voltage side or low voltage side to high voltage side depending upon our requirement so here we can see the equivalent circuit of the transformer which is referred to the low voltage side so this is on the low voltage side test data uh, equivalent circuit and this is on the high voltage side test data we know that our transformer that we are going to do the experiment is 213 by 115 volt so the 115 volt is the low voltage side and 230 volt is the high voltage side so here r naught and x naught that is the sunt parameter so these are the sunt parameters which are obtain the result from the oc test and the series parameter that is the resistance and reactance are obtained from the sc test so this will be coming from the sc test and this will come from the oc test so if i want to transfer the data of the low voltage side to the high voltage side then obviously we have to divide it with k square that is n1 by n2 square now whatever the test results we have obtained that test results are corresponding to the full load and we know that the copper loss is a variable loss so basically there are two loss one is copper loss and other is iron loss so iron loss is basically the constant loss and copper loss is variable loss so copper loss uh, once we determine at any full load condition we can determine at any other load condition by multiplying with the uh, full load condition square so at half full load copper loss will be WSC that is the full load copper loss multiplied with half square so that will give you the copper loss at half full load constant loss is basically the iron loss which will be constant output power is half kva into cos phi so efficiency we can obtain as output by input into 100 and voltage regulation we can obtain as i2 resistance cos theta that is the power factor plus minus x sin theta by v2 into 100 so these fundamental formulas we are going to use to obtain the performance characteristic of the machine whether it is efficiency or regulation now uh, at any other power factor so we have obtained an unity power factor so at any other power factor that is 0.8 power factor lagging condition we can obtain the output power as k times the rated kva into 0 0.80 so this is at some other power factor we can easily obtain so rated kva we have already known that it is the product of voltage into current multiplied with the new power factor so k is our turns ratio so we can easily obtain the uh, total loss that is iron loss which is the constant loss plus copper loss which is a variable loss it is multiplied with k square so k square is basically at some other loading condition pc the copper loss is at full load condition so determine the input power and the efficiency so efficiency is equal to output by input then uh, we can then do the tabulation so at different loading condition of k so k is a different loading condition so 0 0.15 that is 15 percent 30 percent 45 percent 60 percent to you know up to we can go for more then we find the copper loss that is k square into pc pc is the full load copper loss iron loss will be constant irrespective of the loading and then total loss we have to determine so output power we have to determine at different loading condition what is the input power and efficiency so efficiency is basically the output power by input power so we can determine the efficiency for different loading condition of the transformer now here with respect to the power factor change in the power factor from 1 to 0.2 and the different power factor condition you determine r cos phi r sin phi and then you determine what is the voltage regulation at the lagging condition and the leading condition using the formula of i2 r cos phi plus minus r x sin phi so if you draw the curve of efficiency on the y axis and power on the x axis for different power factor conditions you will get this curve and if you draw the curve of regulation on the y axis by percentage loading power factor then for the leading power factor condition and the lagging power factor condition you will get the curve like this so you have to draw the plot for efficiency versus output and regulation versus power factor 
So these two curve you have to obtain as the performance characteristic. Once you have obtained the equivalent circuit of the transformer and then uh, obtain uh, all the data of the equivalent circuit of the transformer whether it is a sunt parameter or the series parameter and draw the low voltage uh, equivalent circuit for the low voltage side and high voltage side so you will be having the sunt parameter with a resistance and reactance which is coming from the OC test and you will be having a resistance and reactance in the series parameter which is coming from the short circuit test. So use the appropriate formulas whichever is required from the measured data to obtain the parameters, sunt parameters and the series parameters and these parameters will be used to uh, determine the efficiency of the machine for different loading condition one fourth, one half and three fourth and the full load uh, efficiency. So you can obtain the efficiency and what is the power factor at which regulation is zero. So this uh, complete the OC and AC test on a single phase transformer and after that you should be able to answer the following questions. What are the losses of the transformer? Why an LPF watt meter is required in OC test? That is the low power factor watt meter. Can the regulation becomes zero? If so, what condition? So here what is the voltage regulation when it will be zero? What are the advantage of performing the OC and AC test on a transformer? So why we are performing the OC and AC test? Uh, for a single phase transformer and what advantage it will give to us that is the motive of doing this experiment. So this complete the OC and AC test on a single phase transformer. Thank you.